Well, we've got a chance right now to talk to the new Melrose Volleyball coach. Colleen Schmeezing is with us right now. Well, first of all, Coach, congratulations on becoming a Melrose Volleyball coach. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, let me ask you, what prompted you to pursue coaching the Melrose Volleyball team? Uh, well, I uh, coached last year for the ninth grade season, um, and I think I knew at that time uh, that Emily wasn't sure whether or not she was going to come back. Um, and just kind of like, I don't know, I just wanted to help out with the program and just kind of keep it going in the direction that it's going. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you uh, take us through your resume and give us the short version of uh, just where where you've been and the road that you've taken and, and why you went there. So can you do that for us? Sure. Uh, I think I first started out in Melrose back in the 90s. Now I'm dating myself. Um, but, yeah, I coached there for, I think, five years or something like that. I don't remember specifically. Um, and then from there, I coached one year in Hutchinson, um, and then 99, I came back to coach the ninth grade at Sox Center. And then from there, I went to uh, Eden Prairie in 2002. And I was in Eden Prairie for about 16, 17 years, coaching uh, the 10th grade level and then moved up to the JV level. Mm-hmm. And also, not only coaching, but your involvement with officiating volleyball, too. Uh, tell us about that. Yes, I got involved in that in uh, 2019. Um, started with that, and then I moved back to Sock Center in 2020. And that, that was COVID year. Then nothing really happened. So then I actually coached in Melrose. I did the ninth grade at that time. Um, and then I didn't go back in 2021. I went and I officiated the next two years. Then I went back to coaching in Melrose last year. Hmm. Okay. Because uh, maybe people don't know, but uh, you've done some Melrose matches in the past, haven't you? I have, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, how about the, the coaching staff overall? Is there anything you can say about that, too? Uh, yeah. Uh, Jen Trigger is always uh, a good one to call on for advice because uh, she was the head coach. Um, Emily's super nice. Uh, I think she played at University of Minnesota Morris. Um, yeah, and then uh, Renee uh, Bauer was uh, the JV coach. She she wasn't there last year, but she'll be back this year and stuff. So, but just a good group of girls. Uh, looking forward to coaching with Renee and uh, hopefully Jen. I'm hoping that she's coming back again this year. And then um, Jackie Phelan wants is wanting to be my assistant this year. So. We're hoping that pans out too. Oh, that would be excellent because uh, Jackie is a you know Concordia Cobbers Hall of Fame volleyball player, so she has some great knowledge, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. And I have coached uh, Jo the last few years with her, and I really enjoy uh, working with her stuff, whatever. So I think we kind of um, complement each other, I guess, with uh, things that we know and things that we don't know and stuff, whatever. And so I think I'm hoping that it pans out, that it works, and that she's able to be my assistant. She wants to, so I think it's just a school board that has to approve it. So you're taking over from uh, Coach Emily Rutter and Jen Traeger, as you mentioned, although Jen may be around some. But from what you've seen and what you've known in the past with them and the whole total program, how do you uh, build off of that, and what did you like about that, and what do you plan on doing overall with the volleyball? Um, just kind of, maybe just tweak it just a little bit from what I learned in when I was in Eden Prairie, um, just kind of working on defense, um, serve, receive, always have to improve, um, and then just kind of, so that, that way we can run our offense, uh, see if we have our defense going and we're passing the ball where they're supposed to go, um, and just kind of wanting to get that youth program starting uh, younger, not younger, but just, you know, starting with the 10s and 12s or 10s and 11s and uh, just going from there and just building that program from that age so that by the time they get to varsity, 
we don't have we're not teaching them how to pass and stuff whatever so that they know that so, from the early on age so is your plan then too to become uh, involved with the uh, younger athletes too Okay. Uh, I suppose when you talk about what kind of an offense you want to run, I suppose it depends on your personnel, right? Right. Yeah. I, yeah, I got to see what, what, who comes out and what's working and what's not working, and you've got to go from there. So, I mean, at least I know the girls a little bit, somewhat, from the past years to know what's coming up and stuff, whatever, but to know, to say who's starting is You know, I want to talk on the uh, competition, too, that uh, you will face, as you well know. You go up the road from Melrose, you go to Sauk Center, go the other way to Albany. You've got a team like Pequot Lakes with Coach Chris up there. How do you uh, view that right now? Let me ask you this way. You know, do you agree with me that it starts with the player in the head of the player, right? That they have to come together as a team and believe they can compete against these teams like that who have established programs as uh, the ones that I mentioned. Uh, how do you uh, try to get that through with the, the players that you'll have? Absolutely. You just got to build that confidence in them, um, you know, that they are just as good as these other teams. And that those other teams will make mistakes. And you just have to uh, take advantage of those mistakes when they make them and, and just can't hold on them and stuff, whatever. Yeah, it's not center is great. Albany is going to be good again. Um, he, like you said, people at Lake, they lost a few few uh, girls, but I uh, wrapped a day tournament and watched them, and I was like, Chris ain't got nothing to worry about. She's got good girls, good players coming up again, too. So I was like, yeah. But yeah, no, it's just like you just got to build that confidence in them, and it, it starts at practice. Like, uh, you can't wait for the game. You have to start at practice. It's just building that confidence that mentality that you can't give up. You just got to finish. You just got to keep going. You know, can I ask you your view, too, on uh, multi-sport athletes? Uh, how do you look at that with a, a player as you, you talk to a girl and maybe try to encourage them to play other sports as well? Uh, yes, I definitely encourage them to play multiple sports. sports. You don't have to be a three-sport athlete, but be, at least be a two-sport athlete. Um, just to try something different and you're keeping your body in shape and your mentality in shape, you know, like get working at different angles and stuff, whatever. Uh, but no, I, I, I think they should be playing two sports mm -hmm. or if not three. So, so going forward here now, uh, do you have some summer stuff planned? Yes. Um, just kind of doing what they did last year. Um, we have skills, uh, some summer league, and then a breakdown, obviously camp, uh, stuff, whatever. So just kind of like the basics that they've been doing, stuff, whatever. Say also, too, uh, just to clarify for the folks that uh, you are not a teacher, right? I am not a teacher. Okay. I am a teacher of volleyball and other things, but not like a physical teacher, no. So since you're not on the school staff or even with Jackie, too, uh, what kind of challenges does that create for you, if any? Um, challenges is like, uh, when are we going to do things? Because we both have full-time jobs. So, you know, like uh, when the preseason starts, we're going to have practice in the afternoon instead of right away in the morning and stuff, whatever. So it's just kind of like I told the girls, um, like, if I was going to do it, I said they had to be flexible with me and my schedule. I said, because if, if they're going to be um, not happy practicing in the afternoon or doing skills in the afternoon, then I can't do it because, you know, I, I can't, I, they're not going to be happy and stuff, whatever. But that's, that's when I, I can't take off work every single, you know, like two, two times a week to, to have skills and camp and whatnot. So, but I'm, thankful that my jobs are very flexible with me so that I can work around them and stuff, whatever. Um, so, so I'm grateful for that, that's for sure. So as you've uh, already talked with some of the players, uh, 
what are you sensing from them? Their level of excitement, and are they ready to go here? Um, I know the seniors. Some of the seniors are excited to have me uh, as head coach. Um, the rest of them, I'm not sure. You know, I, I feel like talking to some of the parents. They're excited to have me in um, as head coach. So, I mean, we'll just we'll just wait and see, I guess. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, good luck to you. We'll see you around because on Mid-Minnesota Sports, we'll uh, be in contact with you and uh, have uh, the games on and the matches on the website here, too. So looking forward to it, Coach. All right. Thanks, Mark. All right. That is Colleen Schmeezing, the new Melrose Volleyball Coach here on Mid-Minnesota Sports.